coming over today to play. I can't wait! Because I have so many fun things planned to do together. Hey, what is that noise? Is that my helicopter? <coughs> Pilot Ellie Sparkles coming in for an emergency fun landing. Hi, Sky. I'm here. Are you ready to play? I sure am. And I wrote a whole list of fun things to do today. <coughs> you sure did. Wow, this is a really huge list, Sky. All right. There's making a super stretchy slime, the three marker challenge, and a chocolate chip cookie baking contest. That sounds super fun. This is going to be the best play date ever. Yeah, let's get started. What do you want to do first? How about you pick the first activity, and then I'll pick the next one. Wait, what's that noise? Oh, Sky, I think that you're really, really hungry, aren't you? Well, I didn't eat yet, but having lunch was number eight on my list. Well, I think we're gonna have to bump lunch to number one on the list. You can't play on an empty stomach. Don't worry, I know the perfect lunch for you. I'll be right back, okay? I promise you'll love this meal so, so, so much. We're at McDonald's. Luckily, a brand new store just opened opposite of Skye's house. Awesome! I'm gonna get her a Happy Meal because she loves Happy Meals, especially playing with the toy. Okay, boys and girls, if you wanna see me get a Happy Meal from McDonald's, give me a big thumbs up. Let's see, is anyone working here? Hello? Hello, welcome to McGrinchold's. Grinch, what are you doing here? I work here. It's my brand new store called McGrinchold's. McGrinchold's? I've never even heard of McGrinchold's. I need to go to McDonald's, so I'm in the wrong place. I gotta go. No, wait, don't leave. McGrinchel's is exactly like McDonald's. I have all the same foods, except my food is way yummier. I don't know, Grinch. I know Sky wants a Happy Meal, and you can only get that McDonald's. This is for Sky? That's great, because all those silly Paw Patrol doggies love to eat here at McGrinchel's. Chase the Construction Pup loves my food, and so does Marshall the Snow Pup and even Rubble the Flying Pup. Yeah, the Paw Patrol eats here every day. <laughs> okay, Grinch, I guess if Chase, Rubble, and Marshall all eat McGrinchels, it must be pretty tasty. I'm sure Skye will love the food, but do you have a Happy Meal? I sure do, but they're not called Happy Meals. Since my food is way better than McDonald's, they're called Awesome Meals. <gasps> An Awesome Meal? That sounds, well, awesome. I'm sure Sky would love that. I'll have one awesome meal for my good friend Sky, please, Grinch. You made a make awesome choice, Ellie Sparkles. One awesome meal coming right up. All done. Here's the most yummy awesome meal I've ever made. exactly like a McDonald's Happy Meal, except there's Grinch's face in the front. All right, Grinch, thank you so much. I have a really, really busy day full of fun with my friend Sky, so I gotta get back real quick. <laughs> Bye, Ellie. <laughs> okay, boys and girls, press the thumbs up button if you wanna see what's really inside my Happy Meal. Oh, I hope you're able to finish my whole list of activities today. Hi, Sky. I'm back. And I'll give you a couple guesses as to what I got for you for lunch. Oh boy, I love guessing games. I guess pizza or, wait, no, I guess a hot dog or peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Is it macaroni and cheese? <laughs> You're so silly, Sky. I said a couple guesses and you guessed so many times but you still didn't get it. I got you an awesome meal. An awesome meal? Thanks, Ellie. I love McDonald's. Is that what their new Happy Meal is called? Nope, this isn't from McDonald's. It's from a new place called McGrinchel's. And apparently, all your Paw Patrol friends love eating there. So that's why I got you the awesome meal. I think that you might like it too. McGrinchel's? Chase and Marshall never told me about McGrinchel's. But I'm sure it's great, and I'm super hungry. Best Pop's gotta eat. <laughs> all right, let's see what's in here. So. Awesome fries, and they smell super good. 
I can't wait to try some of these. French fries! Yummy, yummy, in my tummy. Can I taste one, please? Absolutely. Wait, what's on that fry? Is that slime? I think it is slime, Sky. I'm sorry. This must have been a bad French fry. It's a good thing that we have a whole box full of them. Let's get you a better one. Oh, no. These aren't french fries, they're slime fries! Ew! Well, I'm sure this was just a mistake. I brought another thing for you in the awesome meal. You know what, Skye? I don't know if I have a cheeseburger. Just kidding, I do! <laughs> I got you an awesome cheeseburger. Awesome! I'm super hungry now! This is going to be so yummy! It smells super good as well, and I bet it tastes just as good. Eat up! Hey, wait! Are you sure this is a cheeseburger? What's all that green stuff? Huh? You're right! There's slime in the burger as well! So we got a slime cheeseburger and slime fries. Wait a second. I think the Grinch is up to one of his silly plans. I think he's being a little naughty, right boys and girls? Type go in the comments if you think the Grinch is playing a prank on us. <laughs> Just wait right here, Sky. I'll get to the bottom of this. <laughs> I've slimed so many people today. This is definitely my greatest plan ever. I can't wait to see who I trick next. Aha! Uh -huh. So you were planning to trick me, weren't you, Grinch? Oh no, Ellie Sparkles. What are you doing here? Oh yeah, uh, uh, do you want another awesome meal? No, thank you, Grinch. I know all about your silly plan not to slime everyone. Uh-oh, you know my plan? Yikes, I better get out of here. Sorry, the Grinch house is closed. Good job, boys and girls, we did it. The Grinch won't be sliming anyone anytime soon at McGrinchholds. <laughs> but now we have to find a real McDonald's so we can get Sky her happy meal at last. Arg! hi, Ellie. Hi, Chef Zoe. Uh, seems there's been a bit of a mix-up. Yesterday, I was so hungry, I asked you both to cook me a lunch for my first day as Pirate Principal. It's okay, Principal Pirate. Since I am the real chef here, I'll cook for you. Well, I'm not a real chef like Chef Zoe, but I did bring all these ingredients, and I'd hate to see all these ingredients go to waste. Hmm, what to do, what to do? Oh, I know. Why don't you both cook me a lunch for my first day as pirate principal? We'll make it a competition. Whoever cooks the best lunch wins. Oh, wow, that's a great idea. A game? I love games. Let's do this. You're on it, Ellie Sparkles. This is going to be easy. So, Ellie, what are you making? You don't have any fancy ingredients like I do. Well, I decided that I was going to make something that I'm best at. It's also my favorite, a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Principal Pirate's going to love this one. First, you just have to have two pieces of bread, which I have right here, some peanut butter, and some jelly. Any flavor will do. You have to have a huge scoop of peanut butter, just like that and spread it around. And next, you gotta squirt on your jelly. I love grape jelly. Mmm, smells good. And now you just have to put them together. There we go. The perfect peanut butter and jelly sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> You're making a peanut butter and jelly sandwich for a principal? Woo! This is easier than I thought. You don't think he's gonna like it? Oh, what are you making? I'm making the world famous fancy pizza. First, you get pizza dough and you stir it up high, very high. Then you get tomato sauce and then some cheese. Now for the best 
best ingredient of all. My Zoe Chef Secret Seasoning. Everybody loves my secret seasoning. All done. Perfect. You really are such a great cook, Chef Zoe. Let's get this to Principal Pirate. Arr, what's taking them so long? My pirate belly is so empty. Hmm, I wonder if I can eat me gold coins. Hi, Mr. Pirate. It's lunchtime. I hope you're super hungry because we made some delicious lunches for you. I made you my famous homemade uh, peanut butter and jelly sandwich. It's not that fancy or anything, but it's really, really good. What is that you say? A pea jelly and butternut sandwich? I've never heard of that before. <laughs> Ooh, I like the color of that butternut. Is that made of gold coins? Um, no. Unfortunately, it's made out of peanuts. <laughs> I guess I'll give it a taste. That butternut bread's pretty good. <laughs> I like it. Mm, I think I'll give it four gold coins on the Pirate Yummy Scale. Wow, four gold coins? That's great. Thanks, Mr. Pirate. <laughs> Only four gold coins? I bet my pizza is worth ten gold coins. Let me see. That looks yummy. <laughs> it smells yummy. Oh, That's right. I bet it tastes so yummy, I can't wait any longer. Can I eat it? Yeah. Yummy pizza, coming in my tummy. Ooh, that's pretty yummy. I like it. Uh-oh. Wait a minute, something in there tastes icky. I think it's that special ingredient you used. My face is turning all green. Uh, sorry, I have to give your pizza two gold coins on the pirate yummy scale. Ellie's sandwich wins this round. Oh, I gotta get this out of my mouth. Quick, get me a drink. Well, for this round, we're making drinks and I'm sure you'll make a great drink, Chef Zoe. I know what I'm gonna make. I'm gonna be making a glass of freshly squeezed orange juice. My favorite, and it's so easy to make. All you have to do is have your mommy or daddy cut some orange halves for you, and you have to get your own juicer. So you put your orange half in the juicer like this, and this is the best part. Get your clean glass and squeeze. Just keep squeezing and squeezing and squeezing until you get a full glass. What are you going to make, Chef Zoe? Well, Ellie, your drink is very good, but wait until you hear about mine. I'm making a banana and strawberry smoothie. <laughs> your drink only has one fruit, but I have two fruits, and that makes it even fruitier. First, you get a banana and a strawberry and put them in the smoothie maker. Then you turn the smoothie maker on. All done! It smells so good. Now, for the best ingredient of all, my secret ingredient. Wait, Chef Zoe, don't you remember what Pirate said? He said that he didn't like it and it turned him green. Oh yeah, thanks for reminding me, Ellie. Hey, Ellie, look, there's a giraffe. Wait, where? I love giraffes. Huh? Oh, Ellie, sorry, it was just a doggy. Oops. Oh, I really wanted to see a giraffe, too. All right, let's bring these drinks over to Mr. Pirate. Maybe we'll see the giraffe later. <laughs> Arr. I'm so thirsty, and my mouth is all dry. Hmm, I wonder if I could drink me gold coins. No, don't do it, Mr. Pirate. Here we are with your drinks. 
Oh, I was kind of looking forward to drinking my gold coin drink. Well, I have something even better than gold coins. A strawberry and banana smoothie. Oh, yeah. And this time, I didn't add the special ingredient. Ooh, that's good. I don't like it when my pirate face turns green. Ooh, I like that flamingo straw you got there. It reminds me of the ocean. Can I take a sip? Yeah. Wowie zowie! Oh, it tastes delicious! I taste a strawberry, and I taste a banana. Ho oh, I give it four gold coins. Way to go, Zoe. So, Ellie, what you got for me this time? Oh, my favorite drink to drink in the morning is a good old glass of orange juice. Wait a second. Huh? This isn't orange. It was orange when he poured it. Uh, Ellie, uh, this kind of looks like chocolate milk. But well, what do you think? Does it taste icky? Are you turning green again? It tastes delicious! <laughs> I love my chocolate orange drink. It's a pirate's favorite drink. Hmm, I'll give you five gold coins, Ellie. You win again! <laughs> Thanks, Mr. Pirate! This was awesome! And thank you, Chef Zoe. You are so fun to play with, and you're such an awesome cook. Aw, congratulations, Ellie. But I guess I'm not the best chef in school anymore. You are. Hey, can you teach me how to make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich? It looks really good. Of course, Chef Zoe. Okay, so first of all, you get the two slices of bread, and then there's some peanut butter on one, and then there's jelly on the other, and then you just gotta mush them together, and if you're really feeling good about your sandwich, you can toast it up and make it extra crispy on the outside. And oh, it's so nice when it's all crunchy and then soft, and then oh my goodness. Hey, what's up, Sparkle Squad? <laughs> Jimmy was supposed to meet me and Coach Rocco today at the pool, but he never showed up. And if I know Jimmy, I know exactly where he is. Yep, I was right. He's playing basketball trampoline again. Hey, Jimmy, where were you? What? I thought today was basketball day. Basketball on the trampoline. Nuh-uh. Hey, is that the GoPro? Uh-huh. Let me see that. Sure. Hello everyone, welcome to my very special new move. It's called the Jimmy spin a -rooney. <laughs> Nice one, Jimmy. Oh, there you are, campers. You're supposed to meet me by the pool by the giant dartboard. Come on. Giant dartboard? Come on, Jimmy. One more shot. Yes. Why have swimming or basketball when you can have swimming and basketball? I present to you the swimming pool slam dunk challenge. You just hold this basketball, jump into the pool, and make your best slam dunk. As long as you make it into the basket and do a good slam dunk, you win the slam dunk swimming pool challenge. Coach Rocco, <laughs> Coach Rocco, I should definitely go first so I can, you know, show everyone how it's done. I got this GoPro here too to document me as I do it. Hey everyone, it's time for the Jimmy Jam Flip Around 360 Slam Dunk! Uh, Ellie, can you film me please? Sure. I want to get this for uh, TikTok. I have almost nine followers, so uh, make right. sure it's good footage. Three, two, one, Jimmy! I mean, Judge Rocco? Well, uh, he gets points for style, but he missed the basket spectacularly, so he gets three points. Three? Is that out of three? No, it's uh, three out of ten. Not too good, not too good. What? Coach Rocco, I get a do-over. I was just practicing, I swear. Come on, give me one more shot. Okay, let's give him another shot, Coach Rocco. Okay, Jimmy, go again. Awesome. Okay, this time for real. Here it comes. The Dunkachino. Oh! 
Did I get it? Uh, yeah, you, you didn't even come close, Jimmy. <laughs> come on out of the pool now. Wait, come on, one so, more try? Uh, no, no, it's, it's... No, Jimmy, it's my turn now! Yes, come on, it's Ellie's turn, it's Ellie's turn. Get ready for the Ellie Sparkles Floaty Dunk Special. Okay, Jimmy, can you hold this for me? Fine. The next one was gonna be in. Yeah. And now I'm ready. Three, two, one. Not only did a very fancy slam dunk, but you actually made it in the basket! That's right, Ed! <laughs> Ellie Sparkles, you get a point! Woo! My favorite ducky float! And my favorite dinosaur, Timmy the T-Rex! As you might have guessed, campers, today we're gonna do a race alongside your favorite friends here. Batman? Batman's here? Batman's on my team? No, I mean your dinosaur, Jimmy. We're gonna hop onto our favorite float, go all the way to the other side of the pool, try not to fall off. Whoever makes it to the other side first wins the challenge! On your marks, get set, go! Go, go, go! Look for me, I've got a secret <laughs> weapon. <laughs> Jimmy's always cheating! I'm not cheating. I'm just being resourceful. <laughs> and the winner is... Jimmy! Awesome! <laughs> I can't believe it, Jimmy. I know you use a sea scooter. I didn't use anything. Sea scooter? I haven't the slightest idea what you're talking about. <laughs> oh wow, look at that. Coach, you have a donut floaty. Is that our treasure? I knew it, a donut eating contest. I'm so gonna win this one. Oh, it's not a donut eating contest, Jimbo. <laughs> it's a find the hidden treasure contest. Yeah. And the treasure today is the pool sports badge. And you're both tied, so whoever finds the pool sports badge wins the challenge. And guess what? The challenge begins now. <laughs> Slow and steady wins the race! Uh. <laughs> Jimmy, have you found anything? Nope. Keep looking. Hmm. Wow, maybe it's under this bowling pin. Nope. This floaty? Nope. Maybe it's underwater, too. I don't see anything. Hmm, not there. Donut! Hello? I'm gonna look at the dinosaur. Jimmy hasn't looked at this one yet. Oh! oh. Ah. <laughs> look! I found it! The Pool Sports Badge! Woohoo! And the winner of the Pool Sports Badge is Ellie Sparkle! So you won your pool sports badge, huh? Well, I know something that I'm better than you at. Splashing! Yeah! Let's have a Jimmy! splashing contest. <laughs> Splash! Some super slip and slidey fun with Jimmy and Coach Rocco. 
and we're gonna crash into these pins! <laughs> I love bowling and slip and slide! <laughs> Alright kids, are you ready for today's activities? Yeah! Alright, you get two chances to slide all the way down here and into those pins. The one who knocks down the most pins wins the game! Now let me show you how it's done here. <laughs> uh, you gotta just see I'm fish. You want the board? No, no, I got enough. Uh, I got enough. Uh, okay, I'm, uh, I'm getting close. <laughs> how far are the pins? How, how far uh, are they? They're pretty far away, Coach. Uh, uh, all right, well, you get them. All right, just go ahead, Noah. Okay. Well, all right, you go. <laughs> okay. If you want to slip and slide ball with me, hit that thumbs up button. Ready? Three, two, one. Ah! Whoa! One, two, three, four, five. See if you could beat five pins and on your marks, get set, go! Here comes the Jimmy Pinaroony. Woo! Woo! Ah! Whoa! How many did I get? Looks like five pins. Awesome. Here comes Jimmy! Ooh. No! Oh, <laughs> oh, looks like we have a tie! Woo! Bye, Jimmy. Jimmy! Jimmy, five pins, Ellie! So close! <laughs> okay, campers, time for the tiebreaker. We're gonna be using this giant slingshot to shoot Jimmy's basketball into those pins over there. You get two chances and whoever knocks down the most pins wins. Now let me show you how you do it. You pull this back all the way there and you just, uh, you just... Well, you're supposed to shoot the ball, really, but... Anyway, you get the, you get the point. All right, uh, Ellie, you, you go first. All right, I'm ready. Three, two, one. Oh! Whoa! All right, Ellie Sparkles, looks like you knocked down one, two, three. <laughs> well done. I just need to get three more. Hmm, I have to go this way. Got it, okay. <sighs> Three, two, one. Ah! No! You hit the duck. I hit the duck. Ah, looks like you didn't get any on that round. So, Jimmy. You'll have to knock down more than three. More than three? Piece of cake. Oh, we'll I got this one. <laughs> My turn. This is gonna be so easy. I have lots of experience with basketballs and slingshots. Let's go. Three, two, one, Jimmy! What? No fair, that was supposed to go down. See, Coach Rocco, I got one. Oh, it looks like you got one, Jimmy. <laughs> All right, you get one more chance to see if you can beat Ellie's score. I'm gonna pick up a spare. <laughs> we'll see. Come on, I got it. Three, two, one, Jimmy! Jimmy! Oh! 
Looks like... Okay, one pin, two pin, three pin, four pin. That means Jimmy's the winner. Awesome. <laughs> I knew it. I guess so. But boys and girls, are we sure that Jimmy didn't cheat? Shh, I didn't cheat. Don't know what you're talking about. Why don't we let him have this one? You won, Jimmy, fair and square. Awesome. <laughs> Victory dance. <laughs> Me and Jimmy are going to play the Mystery Tent Mega Slide Challenge. We're going to slide down the slip and slide with our rafts and land inside a tent. One of them is filled with an icky surprise and the other one is filled with an awesome surprise. We're gonna do rock, paper, scissors to see who goes first. Ready, Jimmy? Ready. Rock, rock paper, paper, scissors, shoot. Oh! I won, I never lose. Scissors, you never fail me. <laughs> Which tent do you wanna pick? I'll take tent. Number one, because I'm number one. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I don't think Jimmy's going to like this one. Shh. All right, Jimmy, are you ready? I'm ready for my awesome prize. Let's go. <laughs> Ew! Gross! <laughs> oh, Jimmy, I think you got the messy surprise! Oh. Oh. <laughs> I can't believe it! Ugh, usually pie is yummy, but this is gross. Yeah. Alright, it's your turn now, Ellie. I can't wait to see what you get. <laughs> Who's got a towel? <laughs> All right, Ellie, it's your turn now. Time for revenge. Which tent will you pick? I think I'm going to pick tent number two. You got it. All right, all ready for you. <laughs> I'm ready. Three, two, what? Be gross, be gross, be gross. Wow! <laughs> awesome! What Jimmy, you'll it? never guess what I found in here! What is it? Water balloons! Water balloons? Oh, ah! No fair! No fair! No fair! <laughs> Another go. Which tent do you want to go into? Well, I don't want to get another face full of pie. Yuck. So I'm going to pick tent number two. Okay, Jimmy. Let's see. Here I come. Out of my way. <laughs> Out of my way. Jimmy, what did you get? Spaghetti. Oh. I do Ugh. like spaghetti, but not in my mystery tent. Yeah. <laughs> you better get something really gross this time. I'll make sure of that. <laughs> time for round four, and it's my turn to pick. All right, Ellie, which tent do you want? I'm going to pick tent number one. You got it. This time it better be something gross, even grosser than spaghetti. All right, I'll set up for you. Okay. Two, one, go! <laughs> what is it? Whoa! Jimmy! Look! Pool float! Pool floaties? <laughs> you always guess the right tent. This is a win for both of us, Jimmy. That means extra pool time! Oh, Let's awesome. <laughs> Happy Halloween, Sparkle Squad! I am so excited for this year because I get to give out all the candy to the people in the neighborhood. I have a huge bowl that I filled up with all sorts of wonderful treats. I can't wait to see all the costumes. They're going to be so cool. <laughs> oh, it's 
is our first trick-or-treater already. I wonder who it is. <gasps> Trick-or-treat. Hi, Jimmy. Oh, cool crayon costume. That's super creative. Thanks, Ellie. I got the coolest costume in school, per usual, so I can get the most candy. Well, lucky for you, I just filled up my bowl with all sorts of treats. Wow, these are gigantic. I'll take this one and this one, my favorite. And this one, I love these too, and uh, no thanks. Ooh, candy, 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 candy. Oh, but Jimmy, because they're full-size bars, you can only pick one. To keep it fair for everyone else, I gotta have some more for the rest of the kids. Only one? Are you sure? Can I have just a couple more? Nope, but I promise you, Jimmy, if I have any leftover candy, we'll share it together. Oh. Wait a second. Sure thing, Ellie. Whatever you say, fair's fair after all. I guess I'll just take this one and be on my way. Happy Halloween! Oh. was easy. I'm really glad that Jimmy respected my rule of one candy per person. <laughs> trick or treat! Huh, another trick or treater? That was really fast. Trick or treat. Hmm, Jimmy, I know that's you. You just put on glasses and a green crayon costume instead of your blue one. Oh, come on, Ellie. You're the only one in this whole block that gives out full bars. Don't I at least get points for trying a new costume? Jimmy, I'll see you tomorrow at school, and I already told you I'll give you candy if I have any left over. Oh, Ellie, please. Come oh, on, Jimmy. Give me some of that sweet candy. Jimmy. Give me candy, candy. Come on, Ellie. Tomorrow, I'll give, give you leftovers to tomorrow. Oh. Bye. <laughs> Coach Rocco, Coach Rocco, hey, hey, there you are. <laughs> Ellie's giving out full bars of candy to the trick-or-treaters, but to get another one, I have to change my costume. Do you have anything I could use? Oh, uh, well, let's see here. Um, no luck, Jimmy. These are all double costumes, so you'll need a friend to wear it with you. A friend? That's perfect. We can go together. Oh, no. I haven't been uh, trick-or-treating in a long time. Coach Rocco, I'm telling you, these candy bars are huge. You've got to join me. That big, huh? Well, let's see what we got here. This ought to do the trick. <laughs> perfect. Ooh, some lucky person is going to be getting Reese's Sticks. I haven't even had these before. And Hershey's with almonds. Oh, I'm so excited. I haven't trick-or-treated in years. Now remember, your ketchup, I'm mustard. And if anyone asks, this is our first time being here. Okay, all right, all right. Kit Kats. Ooh, ooh, peanut butter cups. Classic. Trick or So good. Oh, <laughs> Trick-or-treaters are here! Trick-or-treat! Oh, uh, hi! <laughs> Ketchup and mustard! That's a super funny costume! Oh, hi, Coach Rocco! Oh, you know it was me? <laughs> yeah, of course! Uh, well, you always go as ketchup for Halloween. Oh, that's true. Well, Coach Rocco's back trick-or-treating, and <laughs> I'm ready for some yummy treats! <laughs> and who did you bring? Who's your friend here, Mr. Mustard? Huh? Oh, thank you. I'll put this on my hot dogs. Oh, let's play a game. Why don't you close your eyes and reach into the bowl and whatever you pick out is the candy that you keep. Oh, okay, I'll go first. <laughs> All right, I love games. It's a huge candy bar, best Halloween ever. <laughs> my turn. <laughs> okay. Oh, you got a banana! You're gonna have a healthy Halloween! It looks delicious and it matches your costume! Yeah! <laughs> well, you ready to hit some more houses, Mr. Mustard? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, no. happy Halloween, you guys! I hope you get tons of candy from the other houses. You're only allowed one treat here. I gotta save the rest for everybody else! <laughs> Bye, Ellie! Happy Bye. Halloween! <laughs> Come on! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that was nice, wasn't it? I wonder who that Mr. Mustard was. Great teamwork, Jimmy. You were right, these candy bars are huge. <laughs> Great for you. 
You got a candy bar. All I got was this banana. Nobody wants a fruit on Halloween. I think since it was my idea, we should trade. Uh, I don't think so. In all my days of trick-or-treating, I've never seen candy bars this huge. Look, it's as big as your head. Ah, oh, sweet, delicious, chocolatey candy goodness. That's it, Coach. We have to go back there and try again. I gotta get one of those candy bars. Do you have any other costumes? Well, I do have one costume left, but I don't think you're gonna like it. What? No way. Uh-uh. How are we even gonna fit into that? I don't think so, Coach. Trick or treat! Trick or treat! Wow, a horsey! It looks so real! And there's two people in the costume? That's awesome! You put so much work into it! And because you put so much work into your Halloween costume, you can have the rest of my candy! Well, I have an orange, and I have this huge candy bar. So who wants the orange? No. Mm. No? Then who wants the candy bar? Oh, me, 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 me. I want it. No, I want it. You got the last one. You should get the orange, Jimmy. Orange is your favorite color. Coach Rocco, it's my turn to get a candy. Oh, no. 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 <laughs> Jimmy, Coach Rocco, it was you two in the horse costume. How many times have you been trick-or-treating here today? The jig is up. <laughs> 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 Jimmy! Coach Rocco! Oh well, I guess this is all for me then. And <laughs> I get a free horse head. They left all their candy here too. So silly. <sighs> hey boys and girls, I'm learning from home today. And it's really fun to see all your friends and teachers on the screen and all, but it gets kind of lonely sometimes. Yeah. So that's why I've invited a friend over to come study with me. Cool. Huh. Oh, I think that must be them now. Yeah. Hey, Jimmy, come on in. Oh. Ah. <laughs> Coach Rocco, you're coming to school also? Yep. He's super helpful, so I figured I'd bring him along. By the way, are there any cartoons on TV? You guys can get started. Wow, it's really great to have a real teacher over to help us with school. We have some tough science and math homework. Do you think you can help us out? Uh, well, I don't know too much about math or science, but if you have any gym homework or lunch homework, I'm an expert at that. <laughs> oh, today is going to be a long day. Coach Rocco, make yourself at home. I'll make you a cup of your favorite wake-up juice. Oh, good, good. All right, class, since I'm the teacher, I decided we'd start out with science class first. Well, before we start science class, we should probably fix this sign so it spells correctly. There we go. Forgot the C. Well, I did that on purpose. That was your first quiz and you got an A. <laughs> yes. So today in science class, we're supposed to be learning about what things float and what things sink. A water experiment. Sounds cool. But you know be even cooler? There's a new game on Roblox where you build a pirate ship and look for treasure. I'm going to go play that now. You guys can work on the lesson. I love school. Never mind him, Ella. You and I can finish this float versus sink experiment. Now I have these rocks here and I'm gonna drop them in and we'll see if they sink or float. Now they're kinda tiny, so I think they're gonna float. Oh, I don't know, Coach Rocco. I heard that all rocks sink, no matter how big or small they are. So I mm -hmm. think that this rock will actually sink. Boys and girls, if you think that this rock will sink as well, give me a big thumbs up. Here goes. One, One two, two, three, float! Sink! <laughs> it's oh. sunk! A sea coach rock on rocks do sink. Oh, that is very interesting. Yeah. Must be all this science stuff. <laughs> <laughs> all right, now let's try something else. Let's try these feathers. Wow. <laughs> now, feathers usually float, but since this one's kind of big, I think it's gonna sink. No, I think that all feathers float because they're all very light. Let's find out. One, two, 
three, sing! Float! Float! Floated! <laughs> sea call Draco, feathers do float! Hmm, so rocks sink, feathers float. This science stuff sure is confusing. You know what isn't confusing? Gym class. Nothing confusing about running, jumping, and playing sports. Did somebody say gym class? That's a great idea. I'm totally ready for gym. Let's go. No, 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 no. We're still doing our sink versus float lesson. That's a good idea, Jimmy. First one of the pool gets an A+. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. I'm a plus. All righty. What better place to do the sink versus float experiment than at the pool. It's like gym and science rolled into one. Yeah. Awesome, I'll be the first one to test what sinks or floats. What are you gonna use for the experiment, Jimmy? Me, Calabunga. I did it, I float. <laughs> <laughs> but I think I got this one covered. I'll just be here relaxing while you keep teaching Ellie. All right, now me and you can do this lesson. Now we have wood and metal. Now what do you want to use first? I think let's try this stick first. Do you think this stick will float or sink? Uh, oh, that's a tricky one. I think it might, uh, let's say it'll sink. Okay, well I think it'll float. But let's find out. <laughs> Three, two, one. Oh, but what happens if we use this huge log? Oh, oh, wow, I really feel like this might sink. Yeah, that will definitely sink down. Uh, not too close to me, thank you very much. <laughs> Three, two, one. What? The log floated too. So, apparently, all wood floats, no matter if it's a stick or a huge log. Yep. No matter if it's heavy or small, all wood floats. That's right. Mm -hmm. All right, let's try this metal. All right, Ooh. let's do this big one first. Yep, you do the honors, Coach Rocco. Metal. <gasps> oh. oh, the metal tool sunk all the way to the bottom. Well, I figured as much. It looks really, really heavy. What about those paper clips? Well, these are definitely going to float. Yeah, they seem really, really light. Ready? Go! Oh. <gasps> what? Jimmy, did you see that? All those paper clips sunk to the bottom, just like the big heavy metal tool. <gasps> so... <sighs> that means all metal sinks to the bottom. <gasps> Ellie, you have Pass this lesson with flying colors. You get an A plus. Awesome! <laughs> Wait, don't I get an A plus too for floating? See, look, I can do it again. Cut <laughs> <laughs> that out, Jimmy. It's time for our next lesson. Now, come on out of the pool. Grab this stick. Come on, Coach Rocco. Oh, <laughs> <pull the pool. laughs> Coach Rocco sings. Coach Rocco sings. Now, how are you floating, Jimmy? Teach me. Gym class is going so great. But what do you want me to teach you about next? Well, it's supposed to be math class now, so I'm not quite sure why we're outside. We're supposed to be learning adding and subtracting. Oh, not math class. That's way too hard. Is it time for recess yet? Don't fret, Jimmy. Math is super easy. For example, count and see how many jumping jacks I can do. Ready? One, two, three, four, four five, six. <laughs> yes, six, six, correct. You get an A plus for that. Awesome. I knew I was good at math. Guess it's time for me to go play on my tablet. Hold on. Math isn't just about counting. We have to learn adding oh. and subtracting too. Oh, well, I got the perfect tool for that. The slip and slide bowling game. Each of you get a turn to slide down oh. this thing and we'll see and count how many pins you take out. That's adding and subtracting, isn't it? Cool. Slip and slide bowling math class. This is a new one. 
Okay, I guess I'm gonna need some serious speed to knock down these pins. <laughs> Three, two, one. <laughs> Big slide! <laughs> now let's see how many pins you knock down. One, two, three, four, five, six! Six pins! So I started off with six pins, then I knocked down six pins. Six minus six equals zero! I get it! And that subtraction, you get an A plus! <laughs> <laughs> My turn now. Here you go, Jimmy. Thank you. All right, now let's see if you can beat an A plus, Jimmy. Easy peasy. I'm ready for this. All right, everyone. Here's world famous mathematician Jimmy coming in for his patented slipperoony. Slide away. <laughs> awesome. Okay, Jimmy. Let's see how many are knocked down. One, One two, two, three, four. four Five. So if at first there were six, and now there's only one left, we took five away. Six minus five equals one. Bingo! Woo! Jimmy, you get an A plus for <laughs> subtraction! Awesome! <laughs> I'm gonna get all A's on my report card. <laughs> that was usual. actually such a really good math lesson, Coach Rocco. It's only gonna get better when we learn multiplication. Oh, uh, multiplication? Ugh, I think it's recess time now. No, yeah. wait, we gotta learn multiplication and division and long division. Come on, Coach Rocco, race into the pool. We gotta count all the way to a thousand. Recess! No! Wow! There's a present out here. Hey, Jimmy, have you been leaving your toys out in the yard again? No, -uh, not me, I swear. Hey, it looks like there's a trail of presents. I say we follow them. Good idea. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, Jimmy. Could that really be him? Santa's hat, Santa's coat, and that's the real Santa. It's him. <laughs> there, there, Rudolph. Calm down. A nice pat on the head always made me feel better. <laughs> In fact, I'll pat myself right now. Ouchie! I really hurt myself when I ran into that branch over there. <laughs> Santa hit his head. I don't think he remembers that it's Christmas. Come on, we should probably help him out. Let's see if he's okay. Hey, Santa, shouldn't you get out of the pool? It's almost Christmas time. Christmas? I love Christmas. I can't wait to see what the Easter Bunny has brought for me. Oh, 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 oh. Santa, you okay? All right, let's give you a fun quiz to see if you're ready for Christmas Eve. So, where do you live? Hawaii with all my reindeer. <laughs> no, Santa, you live in the North Pole with Mrs. Claus. The North Pole? I never heard of it. Is that near Hawaii? Hold on, let's try another question. Okay, Santa, what do you do every year on Christmas Eve? Oh, Christmas Eve, that's easy. I uh, watch a lot of TV, I play Roblox, and then I... Or sleep on the couch eating a bag of popcorn. <laughs> no, Santa, you deliver all the presents to the boys and girls on Christmas Eve. Jimmy, this is way worse than I thought. He's forgotten everything about Christmas. You know what? I think I have a great idea. Santa, Santa school. school! Boys and girls, if you want to go to Santa school with the real Santa Claus, give us a big thumbs up. <laughs> okay, we'll see you inside, Santa. All right. <laughs> Come on, Rudolph. <laughs> Welcome to your first day of Santa school. Santa helpers Ellie and Jimmy at your service. Now the first lesson is, we have to change into your Santa costume. The first thing you're gonna need is your big red cozy coat. It's how everyone recognizes you. You mean Santa doesn't wear a Hawaiian shirt? Oh, well, this is cozy though. <laughs> Santa also doesn't wear sunglasses. <laughs> he needs his reading glasses so he can read his naughty and nice list. Oh, yes. That is much better. <laughs> Don't forget your famous Santa hat. 
Oh, this. Now this is familiar. I know what's going on here. Ho, 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 ho. We're celebrating a birthday party. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Oh. No, it's not anybody's birthday, Santa. Anyway, Santa also needs to have his big black belt. Do you know where this goes, Santa? Oh, yes, this one I do know. It goes right here atop of my head. There you go. Oh, no, this is going to be the longest day of school ever. <laughs> All right, Santa, it's time for your next lesson, music class. We're going to teach you to sing one of the most famous Christmas songs there is. Oh, don't worry about this one, Jimmy. I got it. The itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. No, Santa, not the itsy bitsy spider. It's Jingle Bells. Now, here, Ellie will sing it to you. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh. Hey! Uh, Smirkle there, smirkle there, smirkle there, smirkle there. No, 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 Santa. Repeat after me. Jingle, jingle, bells, bells, jingle bells, smirkle there. No, 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 no. I see what you're doing wrong. Now let's take this slowly. Jingle, jingle, bells, bells. Now put it together and say jingle bells. No. Oh. oh no, this plan isn't working. We're going to have to regroup and find out another plan to save Christmas. Be right back, Santa. What the heck's a smirkle there anyway? Smirkle there, smirkle there, smirkle, smirkle there. <laughs> smirkle there. Oh. What's your name? lessons of the day. You're going to learn how to put the presents underneath the Christmas tree without waking anybody up. And I'll show you how to do it. First, you got to take your presents. Then you got to carefully glide through all these lasers, dodging them, and make sure you're as quiet as possible. Because if you touch even one of these lasers or make too big of a sound, the Christmas alarm will go off. And we don't want that to happen. Let's see. And clear. Well done, Jimmy. <laughs> See, Santa? Super easy. Remember, nice and quiet. Got it. Nice and quiet. Here goes. Whoa. <laughs> This is hard work. Do you have any snacks around here? Yeah. Santa, why don't you eat your milk and cookies that I got for you? And I'll be over there thinking about your next lesson. Milk and cookies. I've never had that before. Hmm. It actually tastes kind of familiar. Of course, milk and cookies is my favorite snack. <laughs> I remember now. I remember. <laughs> coming through, coming through. Santa's got gifts to deliver. <laughs> Santa? 
Piece of cake. Yeah. Ho, 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 ho. This is fun. Ho, ho, ho. Ho, 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 ho. I feel like a spry spring chicken. <laughs> ho, ho, ho. Piece of cake. Santa, you did it! You passed through without triggering any alarms. I think you passed Santa school. Just one more question to make sure you're back to normal. What is Santa's favorite Christmas song? Good question, Jimmy. Could it be? Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Super fun, Sparkle Squad! Boys and girls, if you want to watch more of my videos, make sure you type Ellie Sparkles in the search bar. And Mom and Dad, if you want to learn more about me, you can check out my website at elliesparkles.com, my Instagram, Ellie Sparkles Official, or on Facebook at Ellie Sparkles. <laughs> See you soon!